I've been a faculty member in IIT Madras for more than a decade. And being part of a technology institute, it is very common for students to ask, how do we get jobs in the technology sector? Except that over the last three to four months, every single day, I'm asked numerous questions. So what is the sort of knowledge base for data science and AI? How do we get internships in the area of AI? What are the interesting research opportunities in the area of data science and AI? Essentially, the central question that people are asking is how do you become successful in the area of AI? So let's see what companies and R&D labs are actually looking for. They're looking for three things. They're looking for skill sets, a certain set of mindsets, and real world projects. So what we're going to do is we'll break up this video into three components. The first one will be around the skill sets. The second part will be around the mindset. And then we'll also talk about real world projects. So let's start with the skill sets. The skill sets have three foundational layers to them. You have the computing layer, you have the maths layer, and then you have the computing plus maths plus the data layer. So these three layers form the foundational basis for data science and AI. Now these three layers can be broken up into 12 buckets. In computing, we have programming, which is essentially Python these days, algorithms, data structures, and databases. In mathematics, we have probability, statistics, linear algebra, and optimization. And then when you combine the computing with the math, with the data layer, you again get four boxes, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, and generative AI. So together, these form the sort of foundational layers and boxes for what is known as the data science and AI stack, which sometimes is just referred to as the DA stack. Here's another set of questions that I'm often asked. If you want to be successful in data science and AI, should we study mathematics, or should we study computer science, or should we study engineering? Now, interestingly, this area of data science and AI actually sits at the intersection of mathematics, computer science, and engineering. Now, that's as far as the knowledge piece is concerned. If you're interested in making real-world AI solutions, then you need the DA stack. You need the knowledge base. You also need digital skills, the kind of skills that you need to make a web app, a mobile app, cloud-based solutions, etc. But then that has to be applied to certain domains. So when you have the DA stack, you have digital skills, and you have domain knowledge, then the intersection of that is when you get real-world AI solutions. So let's give some examples of uh, sort of real-world situations or real-world sectors which can be impacted by a combination of the DA stack and digital skills. So for example, it could be a finance, it could be medicine and healthcare, it could be education. So you see that the domain areas can keep changing, but a combination of the DA stack and digital skills can be very powerful in providing AI-based solutions in a host of very different application areas. We'd also sort of like to offer a sort of secret source, so to speak, uh, about a perspective that we think is very useful when you're trying to build uh, real-world AI solutions. And that is the ability to think like a mathematician, act like a computer scientist, and reason like an engineer. So that was all around the skill sets. Now let's move to the second part, which is the mindset. The mindset also has three layers. First is lifelong learning. And the reason you really need to be a lifelong learner is because the knowledge base in data science and AI is expanding as we speak. So in order to keep up, you really have to be a lifelong learner. The second mindset that is really important is a research-oriented mindset. And that is the case because real-world problems, real-world industry problems, are very complex, and in fact, they are growing in complexity. So as you have 
problems which are growing in complexity in order to provide meaningful solutions to them, you really need to have a research-oriented mindset. The third is an entrepreneurial spirit. Now, this is a very fast-moving world. Nobody has all the answers, but you still need solutions. So it is up to you to take the initiative to provide solutions, to provide an understanding. It's a little bit like trying to build a ship and run it at the same time. So you really need to bring an entrepreneurial spirit as one of the key ingredients when you're actually working in this broad area, data science and AI. Now let's come to the third component, which is real world projects. Now, one of the things that we want to highlight is that you can think of this as a three layer process. Layer one is you get your knowledge. Layer two, you look at real world projects. And layer three is when you actually go into the real world and develop real world AI solutions. So real world projects don't have to be very big projects. They can be smallish projects smaller project part of a much larger solution. Except that the key thing that you want to highlight, that you should highlight to a prospective employer is that you have the correct skill set and the correct mindset in a manner that when you join their organization, you can actually contribute in a meaningful manner. Now, the final thing we'd actually like to say is that nothing really works without this one sort of secret step. And that is you actually have to proactively reach out to people and build relationships. Opportunities are not going to come to you. You will actually have to proactively reach out to people, build relationships and build opportunities for yourself. Let's make a summary. So essentially what we've said is we need three ingredients. We need skill sets, we need mindset and we need real world projects. But one of the things we haven't mentioned, and I think it's, it's sort of important to mention this, is that, you know, for example, if you're sitting in high school uh, and if you're hearing all about data science and AI, uh, then, you know, one way of, of thinking about it is what can I do so that I, you know, I don't lose out on this wonderful opportunities in the future. And one of the things that you can actually do if you're in high school right now is actually pay serious attention to high school mathematics all the way up to class 12. Mathematics is a key ingredient. So that's uh, you know just something in case you're still in, in high school right now. Um, and of course if you have that sort of base in high school mathematics you go to university level, you develop your skill sets, you develop additional mindsets, uh, you develop real world projects, get experience in them and then I think uh, you have an excellent chance of having very successful careers in AI.